the African bush, a vast landscape home to many great beasts, both big and small. But there is one beast who is deemed fit enough to be the king, the lion. And on Scotia Game Reserve, that lion's name is Big Boy. At 17 years of age, he is one of the oldest lions still in power. A warrior who's reigned over Scotia for almost 14 years. But the years are catching up on him and he can't reign forever. For Big Boy, it's dinner time. But there are a couple of unwanted guests, the resident rhinos Bonnie and Clyde, who try to push him out of his territory. Big Boy stands his ground. He's ready to fight to protect his kill. And it works, as the rhinos retreat. But it is his son who is his true competitor. Nearly fully matured, he is an impressive lion himself. It is only a matter of time until he challenges his father for the role of the king. Where once he would have submitted to his father over a kill, he is ready to test his strength. Big Boy knows he's no longer strong enough to fight his son, but he won't give up his mill that easily. As morning dawns, Big Boy limps alone. During the night, his son challenged him over the remains of the carcass. He lost. He calls out to his pride, but there is no answer from his son or his female. The female and the male tuck themselves away from Big Boy. Days pass as he wanders alone. Big Boy hasn't eaten since the fight, alone with a wounded leg he will not be able to catch anything. For the residents of Scotia, they are days like any other. Completely unaware, the king may have been dethroned by his son. His only chance of survival is to find his pride again. And to try and reclaim his dominance. He finally finds them deep in the bush, but he is not sure if he is welcome back. His son is more sure of himself now, and Big Boy can't risk another fight. For now, all he can do is follow from a distance. But a day will come for Big Boy when his son will eventually overthrow him. For time stops for no one, not even a king.